Hello and welcome to the Street Crime UK YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Today we look at a woman who has been jailed after police found a Kalashnikov assault rifle and more than 400 rounds of ammunition hidden in her bedroom cupboard. Lynn Tete, 24, was sentenced to five years in prison after police found the high-powered AK-47 weapon wrapped inside a section of soil pipe in the locked bedroom of her Mitcham home. The receptionist pleaded guilty to two counts of possessing a prohibited firearm and ammunition but denied knowing what was inside inside the package. Miss Tete, a graduate in international travel and tourism, said her boyfriend had asked her to keep the package for him because he was moving house. She claimed she did not suspect the bag contained anything suspicious. Detectives from the Met's Trident Task Force raided her home and found the assault rifle and 412 cartridges. Three magazines were also found. Sentencing Miss Tete at Inner London Crown Court, Judge Nick Madge said there was no exceptional circumstances to prevent him imposing the minimum sentence of five years. He added, Regrettably, the experience of this court is that it is all too common for men of violence to use the premises of women, previous good character, to store their weapons in hope that, because of their character, no one will suspect them. Miss Tete was sentenced after pleading guilty at an earlier hearing. Detective Constable Martin Reeder of the Mets Trident and Area Command said, Miss Tete allowed a deadly weapon to be stored in her house. This is a very serious offence and her sentence reflects the severity of the crime. Anyone who is or is thinking about storing a gun or helping them hide from the police and directly contributing to gun crime and the devastating effect it has on communities and families. You also run the real risk that you will be arrested and face a significant term of imprisonment. So what are your thoughts about Lin Tete? Please share your thoughts in the comments below and until next time, stay safe.